Hello Leo, my awesome lions and lionesses, as I love to call you Leos. I missed you. Hope you're doing wonderful. Sunday morning, where I am. Leo, I hope you are relaxing today, taking some leisure time for yourself that you are deserving. Leo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Leo. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo, for Leo's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo in their life and how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Leo in their life and how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey. Let's see, Leo. This is very important. Extra message. Wow. Wow. Somebody's very interested in you, Leo. It looks like the soulmate that you connected with uh, wants to apologize to you, wants to make amends with you. Uh, you still love this person. Yeah, you still love them. But your head is turned away from this energy. It's like you're not um, showing them, not communicating, not telling them how you feel. It's like you're moving on. Yeah, the person feels they made some serious mistakes this means apologies peace offerings they thinking of you reminiscing of you missing you deep connection because all these cups emotions are coming through this is you concentrating on yourself things that are important to you having new beginnings new chapters in your life exciting new beginnings this is you concentrating on financial stability financial independence is very important to you yes Let's see, universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo and how is Leo currently doing? Yeah, you've been through a lot of emotional roller coasters in that relationship that you let go of, at least for now. <clears throat> universe, please show us. It looks like you're going to have an opportunity to travel somewhere. It's going to be very healing for you, very good for you to travel. Yeah, very... Uh, positive universe please show us what's coming up for leo and how is leo currently doing on their soulmate journey yeah you see you're gonna have an opportunity to travel somewhere it's gonna be very beneficial for you very healing for you this was a serious relationship that you let go of yeah uh this usually traditionally speaking talks of marriage commitment uh engagement living together yeah mm, this was a serious relationship oh you ended it yeah you let it go yeah so you found something out that disappointed you greatly turned you off i would say and you ended that relationship yeah oh they want to so badly communicate with you hmm universe please show us what's coming up for leo and how is leo currently doing on their soulmate journey. You feel that you don't want to go back to that relationship. Yeah, you, you feel you made the right decision. Yeah, this is you concentrating on yourself. Yes, your health, your well-being, your job, your business, your finances. Ooh, yeah, you've endured a lot of heartbreak in this relationship. I don't think this person is fully aware how deeply heartbroken you feel. They've done something that hurt you very deeply. Yeah, you feel heartbroken. You're not communicating with them. No, the sword is pointing down. You're not reaching out to them. You're not telling them your disappointment. Yeah, a lot of you are dealing with Aquarius, Scorpio. What's going on at your job or business? Yeah, this is you being very careful who you trust at your job. 
like there's drama going on, people are gossiping, people are fighting, disagreeing, not seeing eye to eye. You're trying to stay away from drama. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, stay away from chaos and drama. You feel and you believe in your heart and soul that you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work. Yeah, and you decided they didn't meet you halfway and you had to release that relationship. Yeah. Ooh, this was heavy. You are so strong, Leo. You know, please show us what's coming up for Leo and how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey. In about a minute, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Yeah, you have passion for whatever it is you do at your job or business. You're very good at it. You're very creative. You're passionate. This is you having ideas and following through with actions, uh, manifesting things. Yes, beautiful. Yeah, so once again, you have some negative people at your job or business who are checking up on you, spying on you, jealousy towards you. Uh, you know, when people are jealous, that means you're doing something right. Correct, right? So continue doing what you've been doing. Continue being proactive. Continue being passionate. Yeah, you are manifesting something new. Whether it's a new job, business, uh, promotion, this is you. Being in power, being in control of your destiny, your life. You see this? You have immense power to manifest what's important to you, especially at your job or business. You see, this is you succeeding. Beautiful. I'm loving this for you. Now, let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo. And how is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo? And how is that soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? Oh, yeah. Ooh, you told them goodbye. You tell them off. You tell them what time it is. You cut them out of your life. You were very honest, direct, blunt. You didn't sugarcoat. You were very direct. This person wants to rush back towards you, prove themselves to you. Yeah, they respect you greatly. They respect the fact that you're not clingy, needy, that you're not chasing them. You are your own person. Yeah, you don't need another person to complete you, Leo. Yeah, this person's panicking, like worried that maybe it's too late to come back. They're waiting. They're looking at everything objectively, what transpired, why you're not in their life. They see it very clearly. They recognize that they didn't meet you halfway. They didn't reciprocate. They didn't put work into this relationship. They recognize that. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo? And how is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? Yeah, you see, they do recognize that they didn't put work into this and you did. You see, they recognize it, which is a good sign because none of us is perfect, right? Nobody is perfect. But the good thing is that they see clearly why they lost you, that they didn't meet you halfway, didn't reciprocate. This together, three and two, shows me they're missing you a lot. They feel sad. they in love. This person loves you deeply, but uh, doesn't express it for some reason. They don't express it. It's like they're hiding it. They don't show it. They're concerned. They're concerned because they view you as single, available, attractive, independent person, a catch in a relationship. This is the minor arcana of the Empress energy. So this person is very concerned that somebody else is going to offer you a relationship. But this being on top of this card shows me that you have somebody else interested in you. Somebody views you as the catch. Somebody's interested in you. Somebody who's very attracted to you because this is wants, passion, attraction. Yeah. The person that you let go of has been quiet, heartbroken, retreating, sad, feeling abandoned. Yeah, they want to come towards you, prove themselves to you. Yeah, you see, the Three of Pentacles is showing up twice. So this person is trying to figure out how to correct what was done wrong if it's not too late. 
Oh boy, yeah. So this person sees very clearly the mistakes they've made and they deeply regret them. This is them thinking that it's too late to correct it, that you already made up your mind, that you don't longer, you no longer love them, that it's over. They worry that no matter what they do or say, you made up your mind already. Oh, yeah. So this is the same type of energy, except this is more emotional. This is more mental. Both meaning the same thing. They feel enormous amount of guilt, regret, heartbreak for losing you. They fault themselves for losing you. They blame themselves for losing you. This person is deeply regretful. This is them reminiscing of you, missing you, thinking about what could have been, should have been, would have been. Yeah, they're very regretful nostalgic yeah universe please show us um especially on the weekend yeah a sad a saturday sunday they they think more and more about what could have been should have been universe please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of leo Oh boy, they want to so badly break the silence and communicate with you. They've been waiting to see if you're going to call off, communicate with them first. This person wants to make you feel at ease. It's like they want to figure out how to make you trust them. Uh, they want to spend quality time with you, but they're scared. Yeah, they want to be brave. Oh, this person's scared of your rejection and judgment. They're so scared. Yeah, this is them trying to be brave enough, courageous enough to approach you. Hmm. Leo, we're going to go into your extended reading. We're going to ask about this person, but also new soulmate that's approaching you, that's entering your life. First, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so leo click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys